Hey guys, Richard here with Alien Bros, and before we start, I have to give a shout out to our sponsors over at Finally Hair Corporation for making this possible. If you suffer from hair loss, then you need to head over to FinallyHair.com and check out their 60 second hair loss solution video. For under $20, your hair loss can be solved, and if you use coupon code Alien Bros, you'll get 25% off the sales price of your next purchase. The link is in the video description. Alright, so to start off as usual, I have a few incredible UFO sightings to share with you guys, and then after that, we will examine some new evidence that may prove that humans do not originate from Earth. Earth, but more on that later. For now, let's get into these UFO sightings. The first sighting was originally shared by our friends over at the Hidden Underbelly 2.0, and it is seriously strange. Go check out his channel, he makes some awesome content, and the link to his channel and original video will be down in the video description as well. Go check him out. I'll go ahead and play you guys the clip, and we will go over it together afterwards, alright? Here it is. So this footage comes to us from Padzu, South Korea, and was captured on January 24th of 2018. A source is named Juhoon, and he said that he captured this unusual looking object while he was relaxing outside of his home in Padzu, South Korea. I am fairly certain that this object is not a plane. I have a few reasons as to why I think this. The first one being that it appears to not have any wings or stabilizers. The object is pixelated, as is the rest of the footage. However, after having examined it for a couple of hours, I am fairly certain that this is no airplane. Whatever it is, it seems to be flying rather low, and is quite obviously a large flying object. It looks to be a cigar shaped UFO to me, but I could be wrong and maybe it is something mundane. If you guys can explain it away, then please do so down in the comments. As it stands, I don't know what this object is. I won't say that it's alien because I've not seen it perform any maneuvers or have any unusual characteristics that would suggest it to be. And it is because of this that I want to know what you guys think this thing is. It is definitely strange, and it sort of reminds me of some of the disappearing or shape-shifting planes people have been seeing and recording all over the world. I won't say that this is what the object is, but I did make the comparison to see if they shared any characteristics. So far, the shape, color, and speed of the craft are the only similarities that I have seen between them. It is entirely possible that this thing could very well be ET, government, or a shape-shifting aircraft of some kind from an unknown source, but I'm not going to say that that's what this is. I am just saying that the option is still a possibility and that you guys should form your own theories on what you think this thing is and let me know. A lot of you guys do an awesome job backing your theories up and making some very solid points as to why you think your theories are correct and I love it. It definitely helps us out tremendously. Alright, so next I have a piece of footage that was originally posted by UFO Man, and it is what appears to be two cigar-shaped UFOs over Chile. I had prepared to share this footage in this video days in advance, and something strange happened with UFO Man's original video, which has me praying that it doesn't happen with this one. The original video was randomly deleted by YouTube, and we have no idea why, along with a couple of other videos of his. We think YouTube may be trying to censor him, and I am hoping that they do not attempt to do the same to me. Anyway, this footage was caught on February 2nd of 2017, and it is definitely strange. I'll go ahead and play you guys the original footage, and then a stabilized version, and we could talk more on it afterwards, alright? Here it is. <laughs> Dos. 
Espérate, la independencia tenía razón. Ya me lo leen, te jodan de los tres días. Ahora están, papá. Todo aquí, aquí, todo. Oye, eso es Hay uno que está parado y el otro va avanzando hacia él, weón. A ver, dale. Weón, mira, jota. Mira mi pantalla. Sí, la veo, sí la veo. Qué espectacular, weón. ¿Viste y no deberían? Esto mucho más allá de las noticias, claro. Llévenme, por favor, llévenme con ustedes. Llévenme con ustedes. Es que se ve como si fuera una nube. Se quedó quieto. No, como una nube. Está quieto. Ahora está avanzando. All right, now here's the stabilized version of the footage. No, mamá, no. el papá se mueve. Está avanzando. Oh, qué increíble. No llevo. Jota, no voy en la valla. Oye, eso no es un avión. No, si no es un avión. Y hay otro. Jota, hay otro. Hay otro. Hay dos. Es emocional, el día de la independencia tenía razón. Hay uno que está parado y el otro va avanzando hacia él, weón. Weón, mira, Jota. Mira mi pantalla. Sí, la veo, sí la veo. Qué espectacular, weón. Esto mucho más allá de las noticias, pero claro. Llévenme, por favor. Llévenme con ustedes. Tráiganme. Llévenme con ustedes. Es que se ve como si fuera una nube. Se quedó quieto. No. Como una nube. Está quieto. Ahora está avanzando. Viste, no es Yeah, guys, I really have no idea what they filmed in this footage. The pixelation leads me to believe that there is no way that this was CGI, and these crafts appear to have no form of propulsion system, propellers, wings, or anything used on normal aircraft. It is definitely strange. I doubt that these things are military either. I know there was some misleading information put out about these sorts of craft being the result of the U.S. Army making them and calling them Sky Dreadnoughts, but I have not seen any real evidence that supports this claim. I'm not saying that it is impossible that these belong to one of the major governments, specifically the U.S. However, I have seen no real evidence that supports that theory. This video also makes me wonder why the U.S. would be deploying them over Chile of all places, if they actually were one of ours. I won't say that it isn't, and it's possible, but in my opinion, it is highly unlikely. I'll let you guys decide for yourselves though, and let me know what you guys think about these two UFOs down in the comments, and feel free to send us an email if you have more information, or if you have footage of craft that are similar to these, or even maybe the same craft. I think that there is a good chance that these are genuine ET crafts, and they correlate with a lot of the existing UFO evidence regarding these sightings. Alright, next we have a UFO sighting that I personally filmed myself a few days ago on February 5th of 2018. We were driving near Boonesboro, Maryland when we first spotted this light up in the sky. I was driving when we first saw it and I immediately thought it looked strange because there were airplanes flying by and this thing was just as high up, far brighter, far larger and had no flashing lights at the time. It also hovered in one spot stationary for a good 20 minutes and then moved to a completely different location on the other side of the mountain and then it moved back again to where it originally was before when we first saw it. This was after we had already turned around once to try to find a place to film it. 
I saw this thing again, and this time we had driven too far to the point where we could no longer get a good shot of it, so we turned around and went back, essentially repeating the process that we had just completed. It had moved over the mountain each time at about a distance of 5 miles, and by the time that we got back, it was hovering in one spot again, only this time closer to Sharpsburg. We attempted to film it, but we were unable to do so, so we ended up turning around one last time to try to find a place to pull over. However, when we came back, the object was no longer hovering in the same spot, and we thought that we had lost it. We ended up driving back the way we originally were going, and when we got back over the mountain, the object was hovering back where it was when we first saw it. We were on a smaller back road, so there wasn't much room to pull over, but we did pull over as far as we could, although we were still in the middle of the road. By this time, the object started flashing random colors, and it was sitting in one spot, not moving. We ended up sitting there for about a minute and managed to film it, and we had moved on and had to start driving again because a car came up behind us and we couldn't continue blocking the road. Once we started moving on, we lost track of the object. Alright, so I'll go ahead and play you guys the footage, and then I'll play the stabilized version that we made, and we'll examine them together afterwards, alright? Here it is. If you guys can see that, I'll try to give you an idea of where we're at. Kind of in the middle of the road and kind of driving, but this thing has been hovering there for like forever. And it's flashing random colors. Uh, we don't know what it is. Is there a car behind you? No. Just, no. Yeah. I'll keep an eye on it. Okay, good. Yeah, cool. Sorry, I lost focus on it for a second. But this thing is just hovering there, man. It's like it's pretty high up, too. It's like. There's some lights coming off there. What the f is that thing? And now it's flashing like random colors. Well, it's not like flashing, they're just like showing up on the camera right away. Try to give you an idea of where we're at. This is a. Alright, now check out the stabilized version of this footage. If you guys can see that, I'll try to give you an idea of where we're at. Kind of in the middle of the road and kind of driving, but this thing has been hovering there for like forever. And it's flashing random colors. Uh, we don't know what it is. Is there a car behind you? No, just, no. Yeah. I'll keep an eye on it. Okay, good. Yeah, cool. Sorry, I lost the focus on it for a second. But this thing is just hovering there, man. It's like it's pretty high up, too. It's like. It's got some lights coming off this. What the f is that thing? And now it's flashing like random colors. Well, it's not like flashing, they're just like showing up on the camera right away. Try to give you an idea of where we're at. This is a. This footage was shot at around 6.30 p.m. and unfortunately it was starting to get dark and all I had was my phone which doesn't really have the greatest camera. But of course it was all I had so I filmed it with it because there is no way that I would not attempt to at least get some footage of a sighting like this. Also this object was huge. Even from far away this object looked huge and was easily distinguishable from an airplane as we had seen a few airplanes fly over us although we did not capture them in the video. We had only focused on the UFO. This is one of the weirdest UFO sightings that I have ever experienced. It was like it was trying to avoid letting us film it and it would hover in the air for extended periods of time and then travel back and forth at least 5 or more miles at a speed fast enough for it to disappear the second that we looked away. I honestly have no idea what this craft could be. There is no way that this could have been a plane, a drone, a helicopter or anything like that. This thing was certainly a craft of some kind however and what it is and what its purpose is are two questions that I need answers to. Give me your thoughts and opinions on what you think this thing was, and please back it up with some very solid reasoning as to why you chose your theory. Also, I don't believe that this is anything military either. The closest Air Force base is in Martinsburg, West Virginia, about an hour away from where we were. There is another military base about 40 minutes away from this spot in Frederick, Maryland called Fort Detrick. However, this is a United States Army Medical Command installation and not an Air Force installation, so there are no planes or secret aircraft being tested there. It is highly unlikely that this thing is military. Whatever it is, I think we're very lucky to have caught it on film. If any of you guys are in the area and saw the same craft, or if you have your own footage of something similar, then send it over to us in an email and we will continue trying to figure out what this thing is. I think it's possible that this was an extraterrestrial craft. I won't say 100% that that's what this craft is, but my personal opinion is leaning towards it being E.T. Alright, so next I have one last UFO sighting to share with you guys, and this was also posted originally by our friends over at the Hidden Underbelly 2.0, and of course, the original video link will be down in the video description. Remember to check them out when you guys get a chance. Anyway, this sighting was filmed above the sea of villefranche sur mer on November 30th of 2017. This footage is definitely strange to say the least, so I'll go ahead and play it for you guys and we'll talk about it afterwards, alright? Here it is.
So while the source was on holiday with his family, he managed to capture this amazing event on video as it unfolded. On an evening walk along the beach, he and the family noticed a brightly lit object above the sea of villefranche sur mer for about five minutes before grabbing his camera to bear witness to what had happened. The objects began to multiply, move through the air intelligently, and then descend straight down into the water. This is what he and his family, among other people on the beach that day, saw. And to be honest, this footage has left me nearly speechless. Notice how in this footage, that outside of the lights in the air, we see no vessels and no normal looking or behaving aircraft. The color of these lights and their behavior makes me believe that there is no way that this was flares, and if it were something like, say, a drone, then they certainly wouldn't have been descending down into the water one after another like they are in this footage. It has been theorized for a long time that if extraterrestrials did want to create a base on Earth and monitor humanity, then the ocean would be the best place to do it. We have only explored 5% of our world's oceans, and honestly, we really don't know what's down there. It is quite possible that there is alien bases set up underwater, and we have no clue. This brings me back to a couple of weeks ago, when we shared a video of a Coast Guard search and rescue boat that had picked up some fishermen that had their boat fail on them, and while speeding back to shore, they were tailed by 13 different unknown objects. This makes me think that maybe this has something to do with it. Whoever is piloting these crafts and occupying these underwater bases seems to be treating passing boats as more of a threat than before and are doing what appears to be reconnaissance work and monitoring the vessels that pass over their installations. Now, I'm not saying that I know that theory to be a fact, however, the evidence does seem to be leaning heavily towards it. Now, I'm not trying to tell you guys that this is a fact or that you should believe in it because I'm not trying to tell you guys how you should think. You should accept these theories that you feel are credible and don't let me or anybody else tell you what you should believe in. They are only my thoughts and opinions based on the evidence that we have seen and presented on this channel and I am only making that information available to you so that you can have as much info as possible and come up with your own theories and explanations. I don't want to tell you guys how you should think or feel. Being a free thinker is the only way to handle this topic successfully. Obviously this phenomenon exists, but we will never find answers if we only listen to one train of thought. Alright, finally, I have a news topic to share with you guys today. Some of you guys may have heard of the theory of Dr. Ellis Silver, PhD, who came up with the idea that humans are not originally from Earth based off of his research where he has been looking into the human race and its physiology and comparing it to other species on the planet. Dr. Ellis believes that there are many differences between us and other species on Earth that point to the fact that we're not actually from here and we're from somewhere else in the universe. In his book aptly titled Humans Are Not From Earth, Dr. Ellis Silver highlights the fact that as a species we are particularly sensitive to sunlight, something that other species seem to be immune to. Dr. Silver also believes that humans suffer from a wider array of diseases and ailments than other animals. And we do, which according to Dr. Silver is another reason to believe that we are from a less sunny planet where there is not as much UV radiation. Dr. Silver said that we are all chronically ill. Indeed, if you could find a single person who is 100% fit and healthy and not suffering perhaps from some hidden or unstated condition or disorder, I would be extremely surprised. I have not been able to find anyone. Dr. Silver also points to the fact that humans regularly suffer from bad backs, which he says is due to the fact that we likely originally evolved on a planet with much lower gravity. Dr. Silver offers many theories as to why humans were brought here, but he believes that the most likely is that Earth is acting as a prison planet, which would explain our violent nature as a species. He says that Earth approximately meets our needs as a species, but perhaps not as strongly as whoever brought us here initially thought. Now there may be even more evidence to suggest that humans didn't originate from Earth as India's blood rain could confirm that aliens have indeed visited Earth. A two month period of heavy rainfall from the early 2000s could be strong evidence that alien life has visited Earth from other worlds. Between July 25th and September 23rd in 2001, Kerala, a state in India, was subjected to an odd red colored rain which had not been seen before. Scientist Godfrey Lewis, a physicist based in Kerala, analyzed the red raindrops expecting to find that they contained dust particles that would explain the bizarre coloring. However, this was not what he found. Dr. Lewis said in an episode of the Unexplained Files on the Science Channel, dust particles do not have this irregular shape. They are not transparent like this. The scientist believes that following his analysis of the rain under the microscope, the particles in the droplets seemed as if they were alive with some of the characteristics similar to those of blood cells. On closer inspection, he confirmed that they were not blood cells, but something similar which had not been seen before. The official explanation given was that a meteor had exploded over the area of Kerala which resulted in the particles becoming merged with the rain. This would suggest that there was life on the meteor which did not originate from Earth. Dr. Lewis backed up his theory when he subjected some of the cells found in the rain to temperatures exceeding 572 degrees Fahrenheit, where the cells were still able to replicate. The scientist also stated that it was growing at temperatures that would kill other life forms. 
British-based astrobiologist Chandra Rakamashinga added that not only is the alien rain theory plausible, but is extremely likely. So yeah guys, the evidence seems to be suggesting that humans did not originate from Earth. The answer to how human life in Earth got started may actually be explained by us originating from elsewhere. Let me know what you guys think of this down in the comments. It is definitely some crazy mind-blowing stuff, and suggests that life definitely exists somewhere else, and we likely are living on what could be a prison planet. This is some crazy stuff, that's for sure. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today, but stay tuned because there is a lot more coming and we will have it posted very soon. If you liked the video, then please don't forget to smash that like button on your way out, share it, comment, and most importantly, hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell. It really helps us out and it'll let you guys stay up to date by sending you a message straight to your inbox every time we upload a video. And you can stay on the up and up with all the latest alternative news. Also, if you want updates on when our videos will be coming out, then please go follow our Facebook page. The link is down in the video description. If you have some UFO footage or evidence that you would like us to feature on the channel, then please email it over to us. Our email is down in the description as well, and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for your support, guys. It means a lot to us. We love you. And don't forget to browse the channel if you're new and get yourself up to speed. I'm Richard with Alien Bros, and as always, I'll see you guys again next video.